Hi all, Brew Day. Um, I'm going to make an English IPA today. It's out of the Ron Patterson's book. I think it's the uh, 1908. I will uh, reconfirm that in a minute. Um, let me show you the ingredients. Um, it's going to be a 90 minute boil. I'm mashing at 67. I'm going to bitter it with a pilgrim. And it's a bit loose. I think a lot of pressure on that one. Um, two key, it's, it's only going to be a 10 litre batch, so um, what about 11 litres? Uh, that was um, in the original recipe they talk about two row and six row, but you can't get hold of six row in the UK. Uh, going to be doing some aroma, maybe at 30 and 60 of East Kent Goldings, their pellets. Got some, this is candy actually. This is some uh, inverted two sugar I made. Um, basically you get sugar and you boil the hell out of it for about an half an hour and it goes that colour. And you get, let it go hot. If you boil it over something like 150 centigrade it goes to sharp shards like this. And uh, obviously you can see the bag is pressure sealed but it's um, because it's so sharp it's just punched it. But when I play around with that. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, thinking, I'm going to do normal water adjustments. I'm uh, going to pop a bit more. Um, uh, I can't remember the what's the name of the chemical. I'm going to stick with extra chemicals, some extra chemicals now, a bit of magnesium sulfate, a bit of. I uh, can't remember it. Um, of the stats we're looking at 1050 OG, maybe about five percent ABV. It's um, it's one they made just after, just before the war, and I think they must have been kind of dipping down with the um, the ABVs because of the IPAs. Used to be, English IPAs sometimes used to be up at seven or eight percent. Um, but I'm going to um. Gonna make it, see what it tastes like. I'm only gonna make a second, make a whole batch. So it's, um, if it comes out bad, I haven't lost much, but let's do a bit of experimentation. Uh, also, on the Braumeister, I'm going to be doing obviously making a very small uh, brew on this one. Um, might be handy if you do want to make small brews on it. Um, I've done one already, I did a barley, barley wine a few months ago, but I used, um, I used a lot more grain. This time I'm using sort of like 22 litres um, and I'm boiling out for 90 minutes. But hopefully, the uh, we're going to see but as we're putting the water in, whether I need to chop it up just a little bit so that it actually, when it overflows at the top, it actually covers the element. But that'll be interesting. See how it goes. Right, come along with me as I make beer. That's, um, that's it. Right, see you soon. Uh, so I've doughed in and put four and a half uh, milliliters of um, phosphoric acid in there. Um, what else have I done? Put some gypsum in there. And I'm going to turn the pump on now, but I've got a, a litre of water on standby here, just in case this water goes down below the element, which would be a bad thing. And I'll shut that in if it does go down. So let's turn the pump on now and see what happens. Okay, so we need to keep an eye on the, on the water level there. I'm going to make sure it doesn't go down below the element. Okay, just there. The image is slightly up over there, but I will uh, put just a little bit of more water in. Obviously, you don't want to point over. That's good. Okay, I'll keep an eye on this now for a while just to make sure it doesn't uh, 
Let's go without any of them. Let's watch it to pour it over. There we are. That's quite good. Um, so we're up to the first hop drop. Um, this is going to be a night. This is, uh, I think it's 20, 20 grams of Pilgrim. That's going to be for 90 minutes. Um, finished the mash. Had a original gravity of about 10 25, which was a little bit off the um, expected gravity, but <clears throat> can never tell when you do different volumes. Uh, so, we've got this ready to go. Got a protofot tab in as well, so I'm going to stick this on the last 10 minutes. Um, I might melt this down a bit with a bit of warm water. There's my 30 minute drop and that's my 60 minute drop and uh, there we are. Right, I'm going to rehydrate the yeast now, but um, that's all that's needed really. Um, so I just added the second, well third edition of hops, um, another 10 grams of yeast can gold eggs. It's boiled down to about 15 litres now, that's the 20 litre point there. So it's uh, getting down there. And uh, obviously we've got another another 30 minutes to go. So um we keep on going about 10, 10 minutes timing is gonna put in oh, let's go back to me. Yeah, in about another ten minutes time I'm gonna stick um some product lock in, I'll get the um get the sugar melted into a bit of water and pour that in there and also I'll get the cheddar in as well. So, uh, not doing too bad today. Um, so, uh, I'll be back to you soon. Bye. So, I just put a uh, protofot tablet in. Uh, it's just fizzing away there. Let's give it a stir, shall we? Get some. Uh, excuse my shitty garden. Uh, got this stuff here. It's just um, let's get it melt down a little bit, shall we? So we'll work on this for a bit longer and then we'll the reason obviously I'm melting it is so it doesn't actually um stick in a big lump at the bottom. And theory is supposed to give it a bit of colour as well. Um Debate where it's going to make much of a difference, but um, I suppose it'll help a little bit. And if you can hear some sort of drumming and banging going on, we've got some sort of um, group in Bristol who do with that type of thing. Soon. Well, I'm just coming down to uh, to a certain temperature. I think it's it's done already, actually. Even though it's saying 24, so it's like it always gets a bit covered up. Just clearing out a bit. I use pellet hops today, so I'm gonna have a few in suspension. Um, my final gravity is not as good as I wanted it, though. I'll do about 10:35. I think that's just, just very close to 10.40, which is not brilliant. I was after something like 10.50, so I'm going to have a, uh, a very bitter, maybe, um, IPA. Maybe a very bitter bitter, so uh, that's a fail, I think. Um, 
gonna ferment it out and see what it's like. As I said, I've only got um, got ten liters of it, but I was hoping for a, a higher specific gravity. Um, let's have a look and see. So I'm down to about eleven liters in there. So uh, <coughs> I'm not got. I haven't got too much volume. I haven't got over. I'm not, not over the volume was out. I was after about eleven liters to go in the fermenter, which uh, has worked well. But uh, no, that's not good. So that's a brew day. Uh, not a very good one. I think um, I need to work a bit on my my uh, AVs a bit with fermenting at um, well, at these smaller smaller volumes. I'm, I'm not so sure it's gone. I think my grain's a bit old. It's about uh, about six months old now. I think uh, I got. I'm going to get new bags through each time, so that might be the difference. I might, I might have been a bit too too frugal with the hops, with the grains. Should have like put three kilos in and just gone for it. Really, I mean, it's going to be 71 IBUs. So that's going to be quite quite powerful in a uh, uh, maybe something close to a. 3.5% ABV beer. It's going to be quite interesting to taste, um, but a bit beer. And if it does turn out to be very bad, I haven't spent much more money on this. But um, I'm a disappointed, bit disappointed because I want, obviously want to try out this. Uh, try out using inverted sugar. Oh well. Uh, I'll uh, sign off. All I got to do now is to empty this out into a ferment and pop it into the fridge. So uh, I won't show you that, it's pretty straightforward. Have a good day, bye. Well, I actually did select some, collect more water, more water than I expected. Um, the measurements on the, uh, on the system were saying just under 10. Well, if we have a quick peek in the uh, thing, we're almost up to, I think it's about 13 litres in there. I think it's at a slightly angle, slight angles maybe. maybe. So uh, we have, I think if I boiled it down a bit more, that's about 11, we might have actually had what I was expecting. Anyway, I'll just poke the figures into the system just to have a, get some sort of understanding of what is going on. And as you can see here, I, I reckon I collected about 13 litres, which is more or less 3 litres over what I was expecting and the measured gravity maybe it's slightly lower than that maybe it's something like I don't know maybe 1039 that tells me here that my um, over here that my brew house efficiency is about 70 actually the measured brew house efficiency was 83.9 and my guesstimated was 69.5 so yeah, maybe that was a good boot day but i obviously just did not boil off enough uh, next time i will keep on boiling i always do this um, i should have really just yes i should have really just taken a um final gravity or taken the gravity at the end of the boil and just boiled longer it would have um, just kept boiling until it was at the right gravity and I wanted that. And uh, I think I've seen turning heaters all the time and I'm a bit of a, I should do exactly the same because um, I can, there's no there's no reason why not to uh, just keep it boiling a little bit longer and it could have had maybe another 15 minutes and that would have been down to, uh, it brought the original gravity up to about what I was expecting and um, Bingo, you already got it. Okay, please like, subscribe and share and uh, hope you all have a good time and I'll see you all soon. Bye.